Welcome to 22 Hour Channel. Here we provide continuous updates on domestic and international news 22 hours per day, ensuring the fastest and most accurate information. We look forward to your support and feedback. Let's start with the following news highlights. 1. Ladies and gentlemen, floods in the Yangtze River Basin have not shown any signs of abating. After flood hash 4, the Yangtze River Commission's Hydrology Department issued an orange level flood warning upstream of this river, Secret China reported today. Chinese media reported that the peak of flood no. 4 on the Yangtze River this year passed through the Three Gorges Lake at about 8 am on the 15th, with the amount of water pouring into this lake up to 62,000 cubic meters slash s, higher than the three floods that occurred out earlier. If major floods were to form on the Yangtze River again, it would become the fifth flood this year on the river and could occur just two to three days after flood number four. According to the Hydrology Department of the Yangtze River Commission, this year, the No. 2 flood in the Jiling River, a tributary of the Yangtze River, was formed just three days after the No. 1 flood in this tributary. The floods were so great that even the highest areas of the upper Jiling River, in Luyang County, Shanxi, northern China, suffered floods. The Luyang County government issued an emergency order, said that the flood peak of Jiling River will pass through the area at 8 p.m. on the same day. The first floor of some local houses will be flooded. The report pointed out that due to heavy rain and high water levels in the upper reaches of the Pijiang River in Sichuan Province, the water level at some monitoring stations not only exceeded the warning threshold but also exceeded the guaranteed water level, potentially affecting the health of the community. Safety of the riverbank Therefore, the downstream of Chongqing City continues to maintain the Level 2 Flood Response Regulation Plan. The Hydrology Department of the Yangtze River Commission predicts that the Jiling and Minjiang rivers will still maintain heavy rainfall. In the next two days, Tiuha Station on the Boijong River will receive another flood, causing the water level to exceed the guaranteed water level. Previously, Tiuha Station on the Boijong River exceeded the warning water level 238 meters. According to the early warning information of the Department of Hydrology, flood warnings in the upper, middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River, Paying Lake and Dongning Lake are still maintained at different levels, from blue to blue, orange. 2. Chinese state media ignores flooding in 11 southern provinces of China has been suffering from severe flooding since early March, with about 148 rivers currently at an alarming level. People in 11 provinces are suffering huge loss of life and property, but Chinese state media ignores the news. The floods did not stop, causing damage to two. 62 million people, 230,000 people were forced to evacuate urgently, including the provinces of Guangxi, Guangdong, Fujian, Zhejiang, Jiangxi, and Ho Shimin City, South, Gizhou, and Yinan. The city was flooded, houses collapsed, roads collapsed, hills and mountains collapsed, crops were lost. An unnamed resident in Yangshou District, Guangxi said, most of the first floors of houses and shops are flooded. The damage is too great, for example, cars and electrical appliances are all soaked in water. An unnamed resident in Gilin, Guangxi, said, right now, there should be no support policy at all. From the photos posted on the internet, we can see how serious the situation is, especially the economic damage. The damage is a lot. A resident of Gillen told reporters that the water where he lives has receded, but with such a large amount of soil, rock, and sand, after cleaning, the economic damage is not small. It is known that Duong Soch District, Guangxi Province is the place that suffered the heaviest disaster in this flood. Tran Hong alias, the owner of a private inn in Duong Soch District, Guangxi said, This year floods are especially severe because rainstorms last for many days. Heavy rain, Heavy rain, torrential rain, water pouring down from the mountains. This is not a problem of one house, but many places of the whole district were swept by flood water. The whole district was flooded. Miss Tran added, There are many houses that are almost flooded to the second floor, where I was not flooded, but the area in front of my place was flooded. Currently cleaning and cleaning, workers are fixing the problem of power failure, water loss, which has not been solved yet. It rained heavily for several days in a row, pouring like rain. Discharge the flood is to release the flood later. The reservoir for flood discharge may be water on the Lijong River.
The flood water flows back here. This river is quite narrow. The terrain is a bit low. All the places with low terrain are flooded. Continuous heavy rain caused the water level to skyrocket. Reservoirs at all levels released emergency floods, causing the water level of the lower Lijiang River to rise suddenly. Dongsoch district, located on the banks of Lijiang River, had to stand at the tip of the pole and was quickly flooded with water. Tren Hong said. Over 6 p.m. yesterday, the reservoir on my side is still releasing flood. Near our place there is a reservoir that has broken. This reservoir is also quite small. It is in Yangju district. Many netizens reminded people nearby to pay attention, especially the small dams built in the past 20 years, many of which are tow for residue, which is very dangerous for a long time. From the videos posted by netizens, we can see that a large number of people living near the Gilan Dam in Guangxi have begun to evacuate. They are worried that the dam may burst at any time. The floods in southern China are so severe, many netizens can't help but wonder why the state media is not reporting at all. On Weibo there is almost no news about this. The city was flooded, the roads collapsed, the hills were eroded, but the news posted on WeChat, TikTok, only showed off the superior achievements of the sidewalk economy promoted by the government in the past time. Come on, come on. Is a stall that can earn 5,000 yuan in a day, painting a beautiful scene that brainwashes people day after day. However, in the real life ahead, how many people in flood areas have now become homeless, have no home to return to. There are countless elderly people and children swept away by water. The CCP's official media have deliberately softened such severe flooding. Netizen said that out of the top 15 news articles posted on Weibo, only one mentioned flooding in the south, and the news was very superficial, while there were seven articles. Hot report on the issue of riots in the US. Someone posted an emotional line that said, On my mobile phone, on the news section of state media, websites have very little information about storms and floods in the south. Looking at it, it seems that the flood has swept through many provinces and cities in the south, causing widespread flooding, inundating countless villages and streets, causing roads to subside, traffic disruption, etc. As if they never happened. There are netizens who can't help but be annoyed. The life and death of the compatriots, they don't care at all, but the life and death of the Americans makes them as painful as the death of their father and mother. Is this eating apple tree hedge fig tree or not? Of course it is. The money they earn belongs to the Chinese people, and what they care about is the life and death of the Americans. 3. The south of the river floods. The north of the volcano wakes up. China is full of danger the volcano that has been dormant for 500,000 years, seemingly unable to create lava, has awakened underground in Trinian. In the situation where the COVID-19 pandemic is constantly spreading, natural disasters, flash floods and floods are constantly occurring in places across China. A volcano that has been sleeping for 500,000 years in Heilongjiang province suddenly revived. Born again. The magma in the volcano has been manufactured again. This was discovered by an official Chinese study. Research results show that, when this loaded state reaches 40%, it will erupt. Britain's Daily Mail reported that professors from the University of Science and Technology of China used magnetic imaging to detect the Weishan volcano of the Wudali Anqi volcanic region in Heilongjiang province, China, still active, although it is not yet erupting, needs to be closely watched. Weishan volcano is one of the mountains of the Five Dali An Tri volcanic region. Its last eruption occurred about 500,000 years ago. It is known that this vice on mountain has long been known as a volcano that has stopped erupting. It does not seem to be able to erupt or have related geological activities. Chinese scientists recently discovered two huge magma reservoirs under the mountain's surface. Chinese scientists used magnetic imaging to detect a three-dimensional, high-resolution resistive structure 20 kilometers deep beneath the Weishan volcano in the Wudali Anqi volcanic region. At the same time, the latest research shows that the Weishan volcano in the Engu Dali Entry area is currently in a certain active state. The team obtained a three-dimensional image below the Vishan volcano, which shows that there is magma between the outer and inner crust of the Earth. Figures show that this magma has melted at least 15%. The Chinese Academy of Sciences announced on its official website that, if Weishan volcano is an inactive volcano, 
its interior must be in a cold state, and there will be no molten magma. But, here, the two magma reservoirs are connected to each other through vertical channels, and the magma in the middle layer is continuously transferred to the upper layer of the Earth's crust. According to the official statistics from China, the degree of melting of two magma reservoirs of Vice on Volcano have reached at least 15% and are in an active state of loading. If the melt level of the magma reservoir reach is about 40%, it will reach the eruption threshold. The study suggests that further monitoring of volcanic activity in the area is needed to predict the likelihood of an eruption. According to the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Northeast China is home to many of the newest volcanoes in China, including the famous Changbai Volcano and the Wudali Anki Volcanic Area with 14 volcanoes. This article was published in Geology Monthly in the United States. The Chinese research team said, Given the current melting level of magma here and the seismic and microseismic phenomena in the surrounding area we see, the Vishen volcano is most likely in a state of active magma. Work. The latest research shows that the formation of the Changbai volcano and the Wudali Anzi volcano has a certain correlation. The Changbai volcano erupted in Ad 946, which is also close to the time when Weishan was active, and is considered the most powerful eruption ever recorded. During 2002 to 2005, the Changbai volcano also showed signs of activity again, attracting the attention of the public and the scientific community. Then in 2023, it is also possible that the Weishan of the Five Dali and Tries works again. Thank you for your attention and support. Please leave your comment in the video's comment section so that we can promptly respond to any question or feedback you may have. If you find our content below, please like and click the bell icon below to stay updated with the last day video from our editorial team. See you at the upcoming new bulletin of 22 hours channel.